This is DWIT News and I am Sneha Shasta. For the first time, a TED event was hosted in the DWIT premises on 30th September. Five speakers presented their talk on Ideas to Impact. It marked a significant moment for both DWIT and the TED community, bringing together diverse voices and perspectives under one roof. Let's move to the speakers to hear their thoughts. Hello, Ankit Ji. So are you excited to give your first TED talk? Of course. Uh... I really think that this will, be, this will be a very good platform for me to you know, share my life journey, so all the different places I've been and how I transitioned through different career pathways and all that. So yeah, I think I think this will be a very interesting one. Any particular journey that you would like to share right now? Uh, I started uh, my professional uh, career as a journalist. Mm -hmm. So you guys are uh, in the comps, so it's really good to uh, see a young bunch of people you know, uh, working what I did earlier. So I started with uh, the Kathmandu Post. I was uh, a crime reporter there. Uh, I, was, I was 19 uh, back then. And then I, uh, you know, sl uh, switched uh, into a development sector, started doing research and monitoring and evaluation of different projects. At the same time, I was also doing music. And again, uh, you know, uh, last year, uh, I, I published a book uh, in the UK. So it's, uh, the book is called Sherpa. So it's doing really good. And yeah, so I've been, uh, you know, so many places. Mm -hmm. And uh, my experience juggling through all these different responsibilities, roles, uh, I think I think that will be very, uh, you know, that will be interesting to people to, you know, just uh, hear me out and uh, see how I managed things and how I managed things well. So uh, in your TED talk, what is the age demographic? graphic or a particular group that you would like to inspire the most? Uh, I see uh, youngsters like yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so I see a lot of people are confused about whether uh, how, how to you know pursue their hobbies. So their expertise lies uh, in, in one particular sector, their hobbies uh, are in other different places. And so I, I see this confusion among, uh, especially among youngsters. So what to uh, you know pursue and how. Mm -hmm. So my story will be how I, you know, uh, pursued uh, all the different things that I like to do and how I excelled in all those different fields. So I think, I think that will be uh, the main core of my TED talk. Mm -hmm. And having said that, so uh, it's, it's all about inspiring the youngsters. So that's really good thought. So finally, I would like to ask like uh, the theme for this year's TED talk. TEDx DWIT is mm -hmm. ideas to impact. Mm -hmm. So any sort of impact that you would like to put on your own field of interest? Yeah. Uh, so like I said just now, uh, so I, I have published a book. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do a lot of music. Uh, I compose songs. I sing myself. And I'm also into a full-time UN job. Mm -hmm. Right? So uh, my, my idea uh, will be to uh, you know, spark this thought uh, to, to, to spark this thought about, uh, you know, how uh, people may be interested in different different sectors and uh, how they can actually pursue all those fields and uh, excel. So how you manage your time, how you prioritize your tasks, how you, you know, convince your parents, mm -hmm. how you convince your family and, and uh, you know, how you manage uh, the balance between your work and life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that will be the core of my uh, talk. And uh, I really hope to uh, be able to inspire uh, youngsters. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. So Thanks. back to you at the studio. The largest IT event in Nepal, TechJix, was collaborated with New Summit College. The event witnessed enthusiastic participation from students of DWIT and other various colleges. It featured an array of exciting competitions including hackathon, web design competition, and intense online game tournaments. The fusion of talent and innovation at TechJix left a lasting impression to the tech community. On 15 September, the DWID Social Service Club presented a cyberbullying awareness program at Mahinda Bodha Secondary School. Children were not only informed about the dangers of cyberbullying, but a safe space was also made available for any last-minute questions. Both the students and the club members actively participated in the program, which was successfully carried out. The program was a worthwhile and beneficial initiative. Now let's hear from both the teacher and students. Uh, 
विभिन्न उपकरण होने हिसाब से विभिन्न अपराध हो इसको निम्ति सचेतना को सचेतना को कार्यक्रम राम समय आज को प्रोग्राम से मैं एकदम राम लगे क्योंकि वहाँ धीरे मेहनत कर Let's hear from Adit Upadhyay for more college events. The weekly Dear Talk session were held by Dear Express Club, which certainly kept them very busy. They also hosted a charade session as the informal event of the month. The members of DSS and DWIT news team actively participated in the informative session given by Ms. Akhnicha Upadhyay, which covered the topic including reporting techniques, media ethics, presentation skills, and in interactive workshop. The Hiking Club and Diawak Literature Club collaborated to organize one day hike to Bundol. The main objective of the hike was to give a literary twist to the adventure. Diawak Developers Committee organized a weekend front end frenzy program where Teja Grawal eventually won the competition showcasing a mastery of front end development. Back to you, Snia. Amazon's Alexa advances with generative AI for natural context aware conversations shaping the future of smart homes and healthcare. Initially, Alexa's capabilities were relatively basic, primarily focused on tasks like setting reminders and playing music. Its evolution continues as it strives for more human like interaction through generative AI, promising an exciting future of seamless communication with our devices. It signals a future of empathetic technology enhancing user machine interaction. Less than two weeks after successful unmanned moon landing, India launches its debut sun mission. The Aditya L1 spacecraft launched from Sri Harikota Space Center uh, aims to study the sun from a unique position 1.5 million kilometers away, known as L1, offering a continuous view of the sun. The EU's policy for common charging standard extended to devices up to 100 watts aligned seamlessly with Apple's new iPhone 15. Together, they aim to cut e-waste from broken charging cables. EU's widespread charging standard adoption aims to simplify lives and reduce e-waste, a significant step towards a greener tech future. Let's hear some opinions on this topic. In older iPhones, lightning cable were used, uh, but in uh, latest iPhone, USB Type-C is installed. It is more uh, durable than lightning cable as it is more convenient and almost every device use uh, Type-C, so uh, it's be it become environment friendly and durable. So I have a quite different opinion on this. I mean, you know, the main speciality of the iPhone was the charger and the charger that they provide, you know, the wire that they provide. And that was quite different from other Android phones. So that was the main speciality. And from this edition of the iPhone 15, they have removed the charger. So I think that removes the speciality that the, I pre uh, that the iPhone had. The, that, that, was the diff uh, why, that was quite different from other Android phones. So, I think I'm quite against the USB support that they have introduced in iPhone 15. For more world news, let's move on to Adit. Subhash Chandra Nengwang, a former speaker and vice chair of UML, passed away. He was an excellent figure for Nepalese politics. Teachers protest against the school education bill, causing traffic blockage all around Kathmandu Valley. India defeated Sri Lanka in Asia Cup 2023 and brought home their 8th trophy. Elon Musk's Neuralink chip has been approved by FDA for the human trial. That's it for the bulletin. Stay tuned for more.